The Airbus A330 series is one of the most successful family of planes that Airbus has developed. Introduced all the way back in 1994 with the A330-300, Airbus has built well over 1400 units, making it a perfect mid to long range airliner. But comparing it to the standards of the times that we're currently living in, in terms of fuel efficiency and technological advances, it's time for an upgrade, and that's where the A330neo comes into the picture. Although the A330-900neo, which is the larger variant, has been quite successful as an A330-300 replacement, the smaller A330-800neo has not been so fortunate in that sense. So, the question that we need to ask is, why is this the case? Well, the A330neo comes in two variants, the 800 and the 900neo. One is designed for larger passenger numbers but has smaller range, the 900neo, whilst the other has a bigger range but a fewer capacity, the 800neo. Now, the dream that Airbus had that would be fruitful isn't quite living up to their expectations with the 800neo. The 900 Neo has 262 sales, which is quite respectable, whereas the 800 Neo has only 10. Only 10 sales. Only two airlines have ordered 800 Uganda Airlines and also Kuwait Airlines. Hawaiian Airlines did have an order for the plane, but they backed out and ordered the Boeing 787 9 Dreamliner. What was the reason for this? Well, Boeing negotiated hard and beat Airbus on price. But it's also worth considering that many of the A330-200s that Airbus hopes to replace with the new type are actually a little too young at this moment in time. Typically, the airlines who have the A330-200 hope to use the plane for another 10 years before ordering a replacement aircraft, and they're still not quite there yet. Also, the second-hand market for the A330 CEO is still playing very strong. Airlines that do replace their A330s with another aircraft actually sell on the A330s that would be sold onto new airlines. There are still way too many well-maintained and perfectly usable A330s on the market to justify. Also, a few airlines still operate the aging 767 and have been doing so for quite a while, and the A330neo isn't exactly a direct replacement. But the biggest reason has to be that the 800 Neo can barely compete when it comes to the Boeing 787-9 Dreamliner. Compared to the Dreamliner, it costs more to maintain and it's also far less fuel efficient, which is one of the telling stories of why Hawaiian Airlines cancelled their A330 order all those months back. Realistically speaking though, the 800 Neo is the victim of their own success of the original A330 series. It seems like the plane is still 10 years too early as many airlines still operate the A330 CEOs. It would be better for Airbus to prioritize their sales of other aircraft right now and to see if there will be demand for the 800 Neo in 10 to 15 years time. Now captains, do let us know in the comments below what you think the chances are for the 800 Neo of becoming a success or do you think that Airbus should just scrap the project altogether? Thank you so much for watching, like and subscribe as always and I hope to catch you guys in the next video.